Actor Paul Rubens, best known for his role as Pee Wee Herman in 1980s children's films, died unexpectedly on Sunday night, his team said. He was 70 years old. The 1980s were Rubens' most prominent decade of work. He had been battling cancer for quite some time before he finally succumbed to it. Rubens' greatest success came from his performance work in the 1980s. The Facebook page for the fictional character Herman announced Paul Rubens' death on Monday with the caption, Last night we said farewell to Paul Rubens. A picture of Paul Rubens appeared with the post. The statement continued, calling the Emmy-nominated performer an iconic American actor, comedian, writer, and producer whose beloved character Pee Wee Herman delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity, whimsy, and belief in the importance of kindness. Pee Wee Herman has been nominated for three Emmys over his career. Paul battled cancer in secret with the same tenacity and wit that had been his calling cards for so many years. Besides his legendary status in the world of comedy, we shall always remember him as a kindred spirit, a wonderful human being, and a good friend. He will be remembered for his humorous brilliance and for the sheer volume of his work. A note written by Rubens and posted to Instagram following his death read, Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing for the last six years. The incredible amount of love and respect shown to me by all of my friends, admirers, and supporters has been constant for as long as I can remember. I have always cared deeply about every one of you, and it has been a great pleasure for me to create art that you may enjoy. Paul Rubenfeld Rubens was born on August 27, 1952, in the New York City of Peekskill. Judy, a schoolteacher, and Milton Rubens, an automobile dealer, a pilot in the Second World War, and a founding member of the Israeli Air Force, raised him in Sarasota, Florida. Additionally, Milton Rubens was an early recruit for the newly formed Israeli Air Force. In the sixth grade, he performed in his first play. By his senior year, he had risen through the ranks of the theater club at Sarasota High to become its president. After completing the first year of his theater degree at Boston University, he proceeded to the drama department at California Institute of the Arts to complete his training. Following his relocation to the Golden State, Rubens joined the Los Angeles-based comedic group The Groundlings. The popular comedic character Pee Wee, named after a type of harmonica he owned as a child, was born there in 1978. The harp was the inspiration for Pee Wee's name. Even though he had been rejected from Saturday Night Live in 1980, he still decided to put Pee Wee in front of an audience. As a result, Pee Wee gained a large following and was awarded his own HBO special the following year, both Next Movie, 1980, and Nice Dreams, 1981. Directed by Cheech and Chong, feature him in supporting roles. When he first appeared on Late Night with David Letterman in 1982, he began a string of brilliant appearances. Throughout all of these public appearances, he maintained his character and never once used his true name. After Paul Rubens' initial success in the character of Pee Wee, which included a performance at Carnegie Hall in 1984, the two embarked on a statewide tour. Pee Wee has appeared in films directed by Tim Burton, Randall Kleiser, and others. Both Pee Wee's Big Adventure, 1985, and Big Top Pee Wee, 1988, were critically and commercially successful films in this series. Randall Kleiser directed two of the films in which Pee Wee appeared. Most people will remember him for the children's show he created, Pee Wee's Playhouse, which aired on CBS on Saturday mornings from 1986 to 1991 and was nominated for 22 Emmys. The show ran on Saturday mornings from 1986 through 1991. Throughout the show's 45 episodes, guest stars like Phil Hartman's Captain Carl, Lawrence Fishburne's Cowboy Curtis, Lynn Marie Stewart's Miss Yvonne, S. Apatha Merkerson's Reba the Mail Lady, John Paragon's Jambi the Jenny, Clocky, Magic Screen, and Perry the Pterodactyl all made appearances. The display included several pieces of furniture that could communicate and a unique playhouse. In 1991, he was arrested in Sarasota on charges of indecent exposure occurred in a nightclub. His standing as a role model for young men on television was destroyed by this incident. During a time of widespread controversy over allegations of sexual misconduct, 
Rubens broke with his on-screen persona and gave interviews as himself. Nevertheless, the incident did not completely damage his standing in the business world. He received one of just two Emmy nods in the middle of the Nenities for a recurring role on the CBS comedy Murphy Brown. He was nominated because of this performance. His performance as Pee Wee had nothing to do with his nominations. Critics applauded his performance as a barber who turns into a drug dealer in the 2001 film Blow, which also starred Penelope Cruz and Johnny Depp. In addition, he has been on Gotham, Dirt, 30 Rock, and The Blacklist, so you might remember him from those shows as well. He oversaw the 2010 Broadway production of Pee Wee Herman as its director. In the same year, he also appeared as Pee Wee Herman in several skits on Funny or Die and on WWE Raw. After a long hiatus, he returned to his role as Pee Wee Herman in 2010. The 2016 release of Pee Wee's Big Holiday on Netflix marked his final acting engagement, as it was the sequel to the 1988 film Big Top. As soon as the news of the quirky comedian's death spread, tributes began pouring in from all corners of the internet. Actress Netisha Leon, who made her television debut at age six on Pee Wee's Playhouse, emailed Paul, Paul, I adore you so very much, one in all time. Thank you for everything you've done for my work and for our relationship over the years, but especially for showing us how to be genuine pioneers. Jimmy Kimmel tweeted his praise for the late Paul Rubens, saying Paul Rubens was like no one else, a brilliant and original comedian who made kids and their parents laugh at the same time. The entire family may find something funny in Rubens' act. He made sure that everyone he interacted with knew how much he enjoyed being silly and never missed a birthday. My family, and I shall miss him dearly. No tweet can capture the magic, generosity, artistry, and devout silliness of Paul Rubens, Conan O'Brien tweeted. When asked to describe Paul Rubens in 140 characters or less, one user said, No tweet can capture the magic, generosity, artistry, and devout silliness of Paul Rubens. One user put it best, No tweet can capture the magic, generosity, artistry, and devout silliness that is Paul Rubens. According to the speaker, I don't know a single person who didn't get a bunch of meaningless memes from Paul for their birthday, and by every single person, they mean absolutely everyone. That's right. I mean EVRE single person. His outrageous wit and boundless goodwill were a blessing to the entire group. Oh my God, I'm in a great deal of pain at the moment. Paul Fague, who worked with Paul Rubens on multiple occasions, called him such a comedy genius and said that his death was devastating. His tremendous originality was on full display in all of his endeavors, from his Letterman appearances to his TV shows and movies, and he never failed to make an audience laugh. And on top of all that, his heart is incredibly tender and kind. For the comedy industry, this is a devastating blow. Paul, we appreciate all the laughs you've given us. Even Lorraine Newman, one of the original SNL cast members and a friend of Rubens since they met at CalArts, posted a photo of the two of them together on her Instagram account, calling him the kind of friend that you can text out of nowhere or have a three-hour lunch with. Since they were both students at CalArts, Lorraine Newman and Rubens have been close friends. And I won't even begin to talk about the constant stream of birthday. Sam says he sent all day long. All day long he kept sending them. I'm not in the best of health right now. Since Ruben's death, Abby and Luke are their family's sole surviving members. He requested that any expressions of sympathy be made to either his parents' memorial fund, the Stand Up to Cancer organization, or organizations dedicated to the treatment, prevention, and study of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Instagram was the medium for the announcement. He also requested memorial contributions be made in his honor to cancer-fighting groups. Thanks for watching.